This is Duke University. One, two, three, go. It's a far cry from a performance hall with a packed audience. But something special is happening in this tiny room. When I printed out the score and it, and it was all bound, it, I definitely sent, felt a sense of accomplishment. Duke University senior Harish Ishwaran, who's majoring in music and biology, is bringing his first large-scale musical composition to life. When everything comes together, it's not, it's not just about you and your part, but you're, you're contributing to this, to this greater whole, and you can kind of appreciate it even while you're playing. Four other student musicians will help Harish perform his work at a future concert. He's making sure they know exactly how to play it. She basically has the melody for that part, so everybody just come down there. You get to, to work with a lot of other musicians in an ensemble to, um, to put a smile on other people's faces, which is nice. <laughs> Along with composing and directing. This is the, the Western violin, so it, you need a chin rest and a shoulder rest. Harish is playing two violins during the performance, using them in two different styles. At age eight, he learned how to play both traditional Western music and the classical tradition of South India, known as Carnotic violin. The violinist there would actually play while well seated, and the way you learn music, it's more of an, an oral tradition. The, your instructor would, would play a certain fragment of a melody from a song, and you would try and imitate their inflections and their ornamentation. Now, more sound. Da -de -da 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 -da. Harish's music professor, noted composer Stephen Jaffe, has helped him meld these two musical traditions into his own musical voice. That's it, nice. So this is essentially a very unique project because it, it, it allows Harish to explore his, the, the learning styles of two different musical traditions through what he's learned as a composer. Duke's vice provost for the art, Scott Lindroth, is also a composer. He's been doing it since he was a teenager. There's a lot of kind of dogged persistence, playing something over and over again. Lindroth explains composing is a timely process, and it can take weeks, months, or even longer to perfect a song. When I'm composing a piece and working at the piano, it, it's, it's not like I'm sitting down and playing something fluently from beginning to end, and it's just perfectly worked out uh, in every detail. There's a, a lot of repetition. When you finally get the piece right, Lindroth says there's no better feeling. Oh, it, it's great. I feel like whew, <laughs> saved it. <laughs> and um, there's always a bit of a feeling of like you're trying to save the piece from disaster <laughs> in some way or another. That's it. For Professor Jaffe, good, good. it's exciting to guide a student through developing a song and then hear it all come together. When you hear it in the rehearsal, it's like it's live in color, and then they made the film just go color like that. It's really, really fun. Good, great. As Harish relishes the sound of his notes blending together to produce something never heard before, he looks forward to leaving his audience with a lasting impression. That's good. Yeah. Well, I hope that the audience can see how there's um, lots of different ways to play an instrument. And how, and how to kind of appreciate all the different um, musical styles that are out there in the world. Reporting for Duke University, I'm Julie Schoonmaker. Produced by Duke University.